Trade Aid, a business in a box, kickstarting individuals, families and communities' livelihoods after disasters, or helping them to start up a business for the first time, giving them self-respect, dignity and independence, thus enabling them to provide for themselves their families and communities. The Trade Aid Trust Fund charity was founded by Rotarian John Asher and is administered by the Rotary Club of Grantham Kestephen in Lincolnshire. It acts irrespective of race, religion or political affiliation, receives no government funding and relies entirely on donations. We supply eight different boxes. Builder, carpenter, blacksmith, mechanic, electrician, tailor seamstress, teacher and handyman. Special boxes can be assembled to suit different trades such as Jepaul Lim who use a lot of plastic materials for making false limbs. Each box is filled with a selected collection of brand new tools, all to an international sphere standard. The only items not new are in the tailor box. They are buttons and the old type hot irons. The inner wheel ladies are seen here collecting these two items. Many third world countries have tools but many are of very poor quality like the one on the left in the picture. We are contacted in many ways. All inquiries where possible are checked when necessary by the nearest Rotary Club on the ground. This often enables us to get a reliable contact we can liaise with. We do now have many contacts in many countries. 99% of our boxes are flown out by DHL who handle most of Rotary's charity goods leaving England. We always ask for feedback by email, phone or mouth, including photographs where possible but we're not always successful owing to conditions, weather and the few utilities, if any, that may or may not be available in a particular area. Where we are able, we make sure the donor of the box gets this information, as we know this is very important to the club or organisation concerned. Our boxes are transported in many ways. Because of conditions and terrain, transport is mixed. Here you see two boys, both finishing school that day both having passed their exams in carpentry and building and crossing the river their quickest way home for John Colenso and Dick Menzula. Another boy, Jim Brabrola, 
getting his mechanics box home by motorbike taxi. Here you see him welcomed home by his mum and dad. His box only just went through his house door. This girl had her tailor seamstress box presented six years ago by her local mission school in Zambia. She keeps her box in the house which is behind her on the left of the picture. The house measures 12 foot by 8 foot which she shares with eight of her family. She now employs another girl making school clothes for local children and clothes for selling in the local towns. Our very first box donated by our late member Neil Storer was presented to an odd job man named Phineas Mabasa. He's the guy on the left in blue, who lived in a village near the Zambesian border. Because he owned a complete set of new builder's tools, he was accepted into a local college to further his career in building. That was eight years ago. He now runs a company building houses for the South African government. Aid gets no better than this. As well as supplying individuals, we have now supplied tools to new workshops, 30 in total, to train school leavers in their chosen trades. So the numbers of boxes required per year increases dramatically, and this is where you can help. Some Rotary Clubs buy trade aid boxes on an annual basis. Others help when they are able. Whichever, trade aid is always very grateful. Over the last six years, we have helped many charities which Rotary supports, such as Hope and Homes on their project in Whitbank, South Africa. The picture here shows Sir Alan Sugar's right-hand man, Nick Hewer, who thanked Trade Aid. He had previously seen 36 boxes that had transformed dozens of lives in Rwanda, the Sudan and Sierra Leone and saw for himself how they capitalised on their enterprising spirit. James the man with Nick received a carpenter's trade aid box on his graduation. He said training and the box help me to do something for myself, my family and my future. Special made-up boxes have been sent to Haiti and Africa to enable Japur Lim to set up new workshops. Sight Savers, another charity supported by Rotarians, received a mechanics box for this Land Rover's maintenance. Land Rover, who donate these reconditioned vehicles with 1060 District Club's help, have gone to Uganda, Sierra Leone, Haiti and Liberia. In this instance, four extra boxes were loaded into this vehicle for Liberia. Physionet charity, who supply wheelchairs to developing countries, 
get a mechanics box for maintenance of the chairs in the countries where the charity operates. Penna, pastoral and environmental have received boxes for the Sudan and Uganda. Sisters of Mercy, an Irish organisation who run missions in Zambia and Malawi, run training school for local youngsters leaving school. In this instance, Trade Aid set up an equipped workshop and then each pupil on leaving and passing their exams received a box according to their trade to take home and start a business. Some of them even share a box and form a cooperative. Friends of Kyanjai, a small charity working in Kenya, benefited when Trade Aid equipped four different workshops, a carpenter, builders, blacksmith and mechanics, and have since sent boxes to pupils passing their exams and leaving school to start up a business. Many of these youngsters over the years have set on employees to help with their workload once they leave the mission area and return to their villages. Two trades, carpentry and tailor seamstress, are easy to acquire their raw materials. These are our two most popular boxes. These two trades, they're very popular because they get their customers to supply the wood for furniture doors and windows and dressmaking materials for the tailor seamstress. They eventually build up a kitty to enable them to purchase their own materials. Most of our tools are supplied to Trade Aid by a Rotarian who is a tool wholesaler and distributor in Lincolnshire. This means Trade Aid never has money tied up in stock and all tools are supplied at trade prices. Trade Aid's van is bought, maintained and fueled by a sponsor and all printing costs are reduced also by a printing sponsor. This enables us to supply all boxes and contents at the same price and fly them anywhere in the world for £425 per box. We now have special dispensation with BA, Virgin and the Emirates Airlines for a flying customer to take out a box free of charge. So if you ever visit a club project abroad, you can now take a box free as well as your own baggage. In the last eight and a half years, we have sent well over 800 boxes to 35 different countries. In that time, 28 training bases have been set up at mission stations, churches, schools and Rotary premises. Over these years, Rotary, Inner Wheel and individuals have made this possible by their fabulous buying of boxes, their repeat yearly orders, donations, sportsmen's dinners, legacies and even funeral collections. Trade Aid is very grateful for all this help, knowing 
Trade aid boxers change the lives of people in the developing world, enabling them to provide for their families and helping themselves to acquire sustainable employment. Trade aid really is making a difference in the third world. And as the saying goes, it gives them a hand up, not a hand out.